Hey guys, and welcome back to Guys of Arcadia. When we last left off, we managed to get the team back together. So, let's head back to Nasrad and have a little bit of an explore, shall we? Eh, I guess we could go and check out the weapon shop. Why not? After all, I thought we was in under Im impending attack, but I guess that's not quite true. I was hoping to find a bunch of gold so I could buy a big ship. <laughs> oh, Ica. <laughs> if we all work together, perhaps we will still be able to buy one, Ica. Huh? Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. It's the Armada. How did they get here? Oh dear. Looks like they're trying to make an example out of Nastra. And that's our phase. Uh, if we stand around here, we're all dead. Head for the docks. Yeah, I guess that's kind of like our only option. Try and get back to our ship. As quick as we can. Yeah. Our ship, it's on fire. That's not good. Fina. So you're here. Use this. It's not Sephiroth. I've been looking for you. Ramirez. You know, you know him? Did you lead this attack? Yes. From this day on, Nassar belongs to the Valiant Empire. I'll be taking you back to Valua. Surrender or you all die. Please, please do as he says. Vina? Please, you won't be able to defeat him. Not yet. Do as he says. So, we can fight even though you know it's futile or surrender. And unfortunately, we really are beaten here, so... Oh, we have to surrender. Grr. All right, we surrender. A wise choice. Capture the air pirates. Take them back to the Grand Fortress. This world surely is in turmoil. Well, they've done a number on this place. So, Fina seems to know him. Ramirez, why are you doing this? Evil bastard. You have lost the red moon crystal and the green moon crystal. That's not good. We find ourselves back in Valua once again. Well done, Galsayan. Nassar was our only enemy with a navy. Now we rule the skies unopposed. Soon, the whole world will bow before the might of Valua, and they will see me as their ruler. Yes, your highness. It is my understanding that the Sil... Uh, Silvite... Silvite? Girl. And those air pirates had the moon crystals in their possession when they were captured. Bring the girl and the crystals to me. As for those air pirates, I want them executed in Lower City. I want the people to witness their deaths. I will personally see to it that everything goes as you... Wait! Enrique. Mother, I just heard that our fleet destroyed Nasrad whilst it was defenceless. 
How could you? Why did you have to murder so many innocent people? I know that we're acquiring more lands, but if we use these brutal tactics, the people will rise up and rebel against us. Ah, somebody that's thinking straight. Please, we've made our point. Pull our troops out of Nassar. <laughs> Silence, Enrique. His value is destiny to span across the world and bask in the glory of the six moons. How do you expect us to conquer the world without a little bloodshed? But, Mother, how can you expect to inherit the throne of the Empire I worked so hard to build? You're too much of a coward. Remove yourself from my sight. Very well. Hmm. I hate Valua. It's always so dark and gloomy here. Yeah, especially when you're locked up in a jail cell. Valuans have no sense of hospitality. Hey guards, can we have some food in here? How about a drink or something? <sighs> I can't believe we're back in Valua. I wonder where Vase and Fina are being held. Is this where the air pirate girls... Oh, girl is being held? Uh oh. Oh dear. Yes, Admiral v Vigoro. But sir, why does that concern you? Hey, don't worry about it. Now run along and go make yourself useful somewhere else. Oh god. Well, what do we have here? Nice legs, curves, all in the right places. <laughs> well, I suppose I've seen better, but she's not too bad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who are you? And are you always this crude? I'm Vigoro, the toughest man in the Amada. I'm surprised you haven't heard of me. The woman I've been with love to brag. I've never heard of you before in my life. Where are Vase and Fina being held? Uh, this is a bit creepy. Get away from me, you creep. You're all sweaty and you've got a serious body hair problem. And what's that smell? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, Red. You know I'm the man of your dreams. We were meant to be together. I'm sure you'll grow to like me. Give me a chance. Ugh. <laughs> Yuck, you're disgusting. Yeah, that's way more creepy than I remember, actually. That's pretty grim. Uh, this is shaping up to be a great day. Let's see, so far we got captured, separated from Ica and Fina, we lost all of the crystals. What's next? Maybe they'll torture us. A perfect end to a perfect day. Baze, you're only making things worse. Take it easy. No? Huh? <laughs> it's Willy. Oh, Willy, how are you doing? He's so chilled out. Very bad, very bad. <laughs> Is that so? Well, you had to fly all the way over here. I'm not surprised. Gilda, there's a note tied to Willy's leg with a piece of wire. We will begin bombarding the fortress at midnight. And I'll wait your, uh, your, your arrival? <laughs> your arrival just outside the Claudia. <laughs> this isn't the first time my men have had to break me out of a prison. They know the routine. <laughs> well, the Claudia may not be able to destroy the Grand Fortress by herself, but she'll cause quite a bit of commotion. That's when we can make our escape. Exactly. But there's still one problem. We need to get out of this cell. Leave that to me. There was a wire around Willy's re uh, leg for a reason. I'll have the door open in no time. Of course. <laughs> Is there anything you can't do? What's this? What's wrong? There's some writing on the back of this letter. Oh, well, what does it say? To my darling Gilda, I will fight for your freedom as well. For you, my love. Uh-oh. Your soulmate, Clara. And there's lipstick marks at the bottom. Clara, she's here too. 
Well, according to this letter, yeah. <sighs> hey, Vase, we don't really need to break out of here, do we? What are you talking about? We'll be hanged. Yeah, being hanged and being stuck with Clara. <sighs> Tough choice. Ah, oh well. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. Willie, tell the men to wait for me with a barrel of loqua. I think I'm gonna need it. Aye, aye. Well, I mean... That's some woman to come break you out. Well then, I'll grab our weapons. Let's go. <laughs> Let's not forget about Iker and Fina. I'm not leaving without them. Absolutely not. Right. Let's go, shall we? So, breaking out of jail. It really was apparently that easy. Okay. So we need to go find our friends before anything else. There's a few little things in here. Ah! Ica. Hey, that sounded like Ica. Yeah, let's, like, go get her. Like, now. Well, we've got a couple of bodies to bag. Wheat before the scythe. Come on, Gilda. Let's go to work. Counter stance. Oh, that's not great. Ah, oh, well. They barely tickle us. Ooh. Hey, he's actually got some kind of like laser gun. It's kind of cute. I like the way he just pokes me. I don't like being poked. I really don't like being poked. So you can have some of that. Uh, Gilda, just go for attack. That'll do nicely. Hey, I actually put him to sleep. Not bad. Finish him off with some standard attacks. Nice. That's two guards killed. I wish they were all that easy. Well, I think most of these guys are going to be easy, Gilda. And we've nearly leveled as well, which is cool. Okay, and we have a save station, which is quite nice. I'm going to say on a separate slot, just in case I miss anything in this dungeon. Uh, there's not a lot here to miss, but from what I can remember, it's a bit fiddly now. Um, so we want to go to, if memory serves, I think we want to go, yeah, cannon room we don't want to go to, not yet. Before we do anything else, we're going to go get our friend. Okay, nothing up here by the looks of things. Now hopefully, I can see, I don't think there's any moonfish here, not that I can remember. Well actually, I say not that I can remember. I've never actually played this version of the game, but from what I've looked up, I don't think there's any moon fish here. Hey, Ica. You want us to come back later? <laughs> Cheeky fucker. Hey, get this cre Oh god, that's really bad. Get this creep off me. Hey, beat it, kid. Sorry to spoil your fun, but you heard the lady. You said we were having fun. God, what a douchebag. I am Vigoro. No woman in Valua can resist me. I believe that the worth of a man can be measured by his popularity with the women. Oh, God, I think in another life you and Gilda probably would have got on quite well. Hmm, I kind of like that. I should remember that for later. Where's Fina? Give us back the crystals and bring Fina here. Fina? Oh, the silver light. Ramirez escorted her to the Imperial Palace. Is that so? Well, after we beat the snot out of you, we'll be rescuing her. I love it when women talk tough. Let me give your friends a lesson in brute force. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. So, I mean, he's only really got one main power. Uh, and that is... 
something called Vigoro's Charm, and it confuses Ica. Uh, but apart from that, he's nothing really to worry about. He does have a lot of health, though. Let's see how much good old... Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, it doesn't really hurt that much. Oh, you bastard. Alright, well, I guess we're just going to keep Cutlass furying him. Everyone else can just keep laying on the pain. What we can do as well. Oh, no, we don't have Fina. I was going to cast a bit of regeneration, but we don't have a 295. Eh, it's not great, but it'll do. Yeah. Hey, Bubba. Yeah, that confuses Ica, but it's not that bad. You would have thought, really, that um, Ica would have been immune to his charm. I guess not. Could actually cure Ica, but the trouble is he'll probably just cast it again, so... Not a huge point. And this guy's not that tough. So we'll have him done very soon. Now, if I could, could stop beating the snot out of uh, <laughs> Gilda, that would be that would be pretty good. Although, I can understand her hatred for him as well. He's not... Well, I mean... He's not as forceful shall we say, as uh, Vigoro here, but we're just about to body bag him anyway, so. Ica, me and you are going to have words once this is over. Loverboy is almost body bagged. Alright, looks like Vase is going to finish him off. Oh. No. I guess so. Oh, no. That's okay. That was painful. But this is the end of you anyway, sir. How can this be? How can this be? Because you're a piece of shit. Why did I tag along? <laughs> Ah, it's not so bad. Right, we've got a good amount of XP. And a good amount of money. Which is good. And we've got the cannon room key. Which is also good. Because we're going to need. And I mean need. Money. Yeah. Looks like you all talk. Oh, God. Look at what he's wearing. Well, you got lucky. And and I didn't have my cannon or or my armor. Oh, on Pirate Isle when I was raved, we have a saying: a true man never makes excuses for his shortcomings. And going by that saying, you've got quite a ways to go. <laughs> yeah, you've got an attitude. I like that. You'll be seeing me again. You can count on it. Yeah, hopefully we'll meet you in the skies. Have a ship battle. Send you burning down right uh, to the ground. Now, let's get everybody healed up. I guess we can use a bit of this. Oof, God. Hey, Gilda was really not in a good way. Ugh, that hurt, Red. Yeah, you'll remember that beating for a while. Okay, let's get out of here. Now, there is one chest to find, from what I can remember. One second, let me check my notes. Okay, so no, I think we're good. Right, anyway, let's go back. We don't have a treasure chest for a little while. Right, let's go to the cannon room and hopefully try and make our escape. Fortress Cannon Room. I believe if you try to go there, 
before, it will say you can't because the door's locked for obvious reasons. So this is where the air pirates are being held. Yes, Prince Enrique. I wish to speak with them. Take me to them. Sir, so perhaps it would be best for you to wait here. The cell is not fitting for one of your stature. Or stature. I'll get the other guards. We will bind the prisoners and bring him to you. Well, I'll finally get to meet the legendary air pirate vase. If the rumours that I've heard are true, it will look like a demon and spit fire. But my instincts are telling me that he's fighting for all the right reasons. Prince Enrique, it's an emergency. I found Admiral Vig Vigoro, or Vigoro unconscious in one of the cells. The rest of the cells are empty. It appears that Vase and the others have escaped. What? I see. I'm trying to escape from the Grand Fortress again. Listen carefully. Do not tell anyone about this. Keep the doors to this area closed. Don't let anybody in or out. If you are questioned about it later, tell them it was a direct order from me. Understand? Yes, your majesty, but... Very well then. Good job. Stay here. There's an urgent matter I must attend to. Hmm, interesting. What's going on with Mr. Enrique? Oh, I'm pretty sure we're going to find out eventually. Anyway, for now, let's keep moving. Use the cannon room key to open the door. Excellent. It's the best thing about keys. They open things. Doors, generally. But then sometimes treasure chests. Alright, what have we got here? A giant cannon, eh? Look at the size of this thing. Man. That is a huge shell. What the? This cannon's new. And it's huge. This thing is big enough to wipe out an island. We can run through the barrel to the other side. Well, that's a solid plan. Hey, what happened to Gilda? Sorry about that. Let's get moving. Hey, where did you go? I just had to take care of something. Yeah, don't worry about it. We should get out of this dump. My men are about to attack. Okay. I don't know what that was about. Interesting. I don't actually think there's anything here. Now, this cannon shell. That would be an uncomfortable uh, thing. To part your cheeks. Don't worry about that too much. That would be rather concerning. That thing actually fired whilst we were inside. Going rusty though. Already. It's supposed to be a new cannon. Look at these monstrous cannons. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be on the receiving end of one of those bad boys. Anyway, let's get out of here. Or, you know, let's fight some enemies first. It's been a bit light on the old enemies. Ooh, look at that. We have a Mage Warden. You want to get rid of those as quick as you can, because they are quite nasty. When they get their spells going. They have some pretty powerful spells. That's okay. He's dead now. Ooh, that's not fun. And they're healing each other as well. Well, well, well. Let's go for some rain of, of swords. Yeah, it doesn't actually do a huge amount of damage to them, to be honest. Unfortunately. Ah, he's gonna... Uh, yeah, that. Ri oh, I know why Ika's getting such a beating. She's not wearing any armor. 
Because for some reason, when you find her, she's naked. She's not wearing armor. Same as Fina. Not really sure why. I don't really want to think about it too much. Yeah. Uh, let's put her clothes back on, shall we? Uh, equipment. Yeah. Nothing equipped. Not great. Let's put her armor back on, shall we? Bit of modesty. Sorry, Ike, I didn't realize you were running around naked. Um, now, we can also give her... Something decent here. We give her... Counter Bracer. Improves physical attributes slightly, as well as countering. Nice. That's actually quite good, because it increases her hit percentage. Protects against sleep. Protects against fatigue. Yeah, improves hit and power, but not a huge amount. I might give her the counter bracer. That just seems like a good idea. Anyway, let's heal up before we move on. Um, right, let's go for. Let's just burn through some items. We have so many. And talking of items, let's get some magic droplets going. Make sure everybody is magicked up. Right, let's go. Let's keep this party wagon moving. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. Good. And more glorious combat. What are we against this time? Ooh. Destroyer drones. Yeah, they actually sound pretty gnarly, but they're not. As you can see. Yeah, like destroyer robots. Remind me of something from Star Wars, but they're a complete and utter joke. Ooh, critical hit. Ooh, nice. I do like this whole diesel pump kind of uh, style. really use a new game like this. You know, like, this is say Skies of Arcadia 2, please. We've only waited 20 years. I guess what's another 20 years, huh? Hey, Vase, welcome to level 31. Lovely. Right, so we've got some, we've got a lift there, but I don't think we can go in there yet. Nope, won't open. Cannon room key won't work either. I guess we need a different key. Well, I guess I'm wrong. I guess we are going up here. Let's ride this bass all the way to the top. I wonder what Gilda was doing back there. Ooh, hell. That's... Quite a lot of cannon fire. Doesn't appear to be doing much, though. Ah! Uh-oh. <laughs> My men are right on time. <laughs> but we're running a little rate late. Oh, God. I don't know how they aim those cannons. Whoa, look at that firepower. Hey, what about Clara? I'm sure she can hold her own, I think. I'm sure she can. Yeah, that cannon is insane. Ooh. Nice. That was one of the smaller cannons. The cannon we ran through just exploded. Explosion took out that whole area. They won't be putting that fire out anytime soon. Yeah, I um left them a little present. Nice thinking, Gilda. Are you two ready? Here's where the real fun begins.
Good thinking, buddy. Good thinking. And there was a slight twinge in me that thought you might be stabbing us in the back. Although, not really, because I remember that. Anywho, unfortunately, our time together is at a close once more. These uh, episodes just seem to be flying. Going through so fast. But uh, I'm going to drop a save there. And when we come back, guys, we're going to finally bust out of here and see what the hell's going on. Yeah, it always struck me a bit strange or a bit odd. The whole setup of the cannons in this game. Especially these ones, because they can't gimbal, can they? You can't actually manually aim them. So unless an enemy is in some kind of arc directly in front of the cannon, it's not that much use. But hey. I'm thinking way too much about this. Maybe they're firing smart munitions that can actually home in on the targets. Yes. Yes, let's go with that. Anyway, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.